Welcome back to the lake again, again, again. I assume he's not. I assume it's a flashback because he's driving, and I don't think he was driving. But maybe. Actually, uh, maybe they were all in his car because he did drive here. Well, I mean, hopefully. Well, hopefully he didn't leave he, everyone. But. Yeah. Well, maybe it's better if he does leave everyone. This sounds like the Minecraft music. I the understand morning, morning music. why you think that, but I. It's done. Dun dun. Yeah. Dun, I, I dun. don't think. Dun dun. I think dun. I think some music major is gonna come out of the woodwork and be like, "How do you think those things are the same?" They're obviously Th that music major is gonna be like, different. "You're right. Those are literally the same exact four notes, just played differently." Well, I like. I think it's if it, it to me, it genuinely sounds like the same four notes in the same order. I like. Just obviously not at the same like. Well, it's like timing. But they'll be like, but it's in a different octave. The. I don't think it's a different octave. I think it's the same like. I don't know. Do you no, so now, now I can't think of how I think I know because I if we were, yeah. if I wasn't listening to this I could think of how the Minecraft one goes, <laughs> but I I also listen to I like folk punk and everyone knows that it's just the same four chords over and over again so I can't talk shit at yeah. all because I don't care about that. I'm just not learn those four chords and go to town. I'm a I'm, I'm lyric oriented, not um, music oriented. So there's a <laughs> lot of things about rhythm and beat and uh, things like that that I just don't comprehend very well. My brain's not super suited to it. So I'm driving down the road alongside the lake. Carl's sitting next to me. He's in the chair that he broke. What? I keep telling him to wear a seatbelt, but he won't. He's in the chair that he broke? Yeah, this is like a fucked up, not real thing. <laughs> he's driving, but next to him, Carl's sitting in the broken chair that he broke. Yeah, he's, he's having a dream sequence. I turn down a road I don't remember. It goes straight down towards the lake. For some reason, I can't stop. I brace myself for the impact, but I hardly feel anything. We just glide into the lake. I start trying to take off the seatbelt, but it's stuck. I look over at Carl, and he smiles before opening his door. Water rushes in, and he starts to step out. Soon the water is over my head. It doesn't matter that I'm, and it doesn't matter that I'm an otter. I really felt the need to throw that part in, like. Oh, and by the way, it doesn't matter that I'm an otter. Mm -hmm. Don't think about that when reading into this, guys. Welcome to Tuesday, which I guess is the branching part of the week. The first three days are mostly the same. It looks like Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Well, it's, it's I mean, it's nice to have a little tree with the broken branch. Like you're making the broken, a choice. The broken branch is Flynn. <laughs> Turns out it was a good day to hang out with Carl today. Good idea to hang out. Okay, I'm like, why did it say day twice? <laughs> uh, turns out it was a good idea to hang out with Carl today. After texting back and forth with Leo, I learned that he's actually planning a birthday for the Ram. It's a little weird since Carl's birthday isn't for another month, but I guess it's just an excuse to have a party. You guys going to invite us to this party this time? <laughs> Sore up spot. This, even though we had so much good reason not to be invited to the last party. <laughs> Leo tells me to keep Carl distracted for the day while we they go shopping for decorations and gifts. He also tells me that he'll get he'll get my gift for Carl, which is fine with me. TJ is pretty bummed though, considering it throws off his hiking plans, but Jenna promises him that they'll at least hike half the trail. I want to talk to him, but he's acting pretty cold towards me, probably because I'm bailing at my promise to go with him. I drive to Carl's house because it's pretty far separated from the rest of Echo, up against the foothills of the Casa Demonio mountain range. I wonder if they didn't have the drawing yet of his house when they made this part of the game. Well, because that, that drawing in, in Route 65 was super elaborate and huge mansion, yeah. in, the, in the same mission style though. Because I, uh, this game took so long to come out that I, like, a lot of the early game in particular might have been made way back when they had like no sub no budget or financial support or like Patreon people. Whereas now I think they have like two thousand Patreon supporters. Mm -hmm. But like that's like a escalation. Just like how like Ad Astra is relatively economical with its like characters and locations, so it can get away with it it doesn't have that much not drawn stuff, but it's almost entirely the same people in the same places. And it, sta it actually st it stands out a lot when you suddenly see, like, 
a hint of this stuff, which is when uh, when when you get to the water in Ad Astra, and suddenly it's a, f uh, a filtered photo. Mm -hmm. It's like the water and Rome were like the two parts that looked like Echo for a moment. But I'm surprised they don't like patch it back in the uh, the new drawing unless it doesn't match. I feel like even these are more because I mean like the lake and then like Rome from like a distance are like you can argue that it's some like stylized art piece. This is so so clearly a photo because of its like up close details that it's like you this is just definitely a photo of some person's house yeah see i wonder if this person like once again with the car i wonder if this person knew their house is in this game. <laughs> it's just the creator's house that's i mean it's, it's still a pretty nice house it'd probably take me 15 minutes to get up there and there's no way in hell i'm doing that in this heat uphill when i've got a car the main reason it's separated like this is because carl's house is a mansion Carl's family is loaded, a legacy that's followed them ever since Carl's great-great-whatever struck it rich over a hundred years ago. James Hendrix eventually went on to start an ice cream business, which at this point has spread out over most of the western half of the country. Carl's mom is the CEO, I think. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably get some shots of the mansion considering its role in the town's history. Most of the old mansion had been, has been demolished at this point, but I think parts of it are still from the original structure. So, I mean, they kind of addressed it, kind of. Well, I think he means compared to uh, way back. Oh, like, oh, I see. Like, it's the, like the historic mansion. Probably best to ask first, though. I walk, up up to, I walk up to the front door and ring the doorbell, listening to the fancy chime inside. I wait for about a minute. Starting to wonder if Carl's asleep, or just high off his ass, when I hear some voices from behind the house. I'm definitely recognizing the crackly timber of Carl's voice, along with the high tenor of Flynn's. I head around the house, stepping carefully through the desert landscaping and walking into the backyard. Cause you wanna make out with him? No, because you like to make things weird. I just want it to be relaxed. That's when Carl notices me and I, as I round the corner, clutching my camera bag to my side. He's leaning over a bush with a giant set of clippers while Flynn lounges against the wall, watching him. Whoa, Chase. Carl's ears perk up and he grins. Sorry, Flynn. Carl, uh, Carl rolls his big head at the lizard. W was supposed to be watching for you. Yeah, I read that way wrong, because I, like, yeah. I thought it was, sorry, Flynn, but yep. not sorry. Flynn was supposed to be sorry. watching out for you. Yeah. Flynn doesn't look at me right away, instead choosing to pull the toothpick he's chewing on out of his muzzle to look at it. He's still embarrassed about yesterday. He should be. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. Good! <laughs> <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> Gee. That's all right. wasn't hard to wasn't hard to hear you guys from the front. Yeah, um, just doing some yard work, obviously. He rubs behind his head. My parents gave me an allowance. Yeah. <laughs> Probably my parents had to get this done before they got back. Carl starts snipping at the bush again. He's unusually sharp right now. I'm guessing because he hasn't had anything to smoke. Either way, it's jarring to see him so animated. Well, looks like you're doing a good job. Oh, he's only moving this fast because he wants to hang out with you, Chase. Gosh, Flynn, you have no tact at all. <laughs> you piss me off immensely. Even though the sentence is technically being said to me, it feels like Flynn's directing it at Carl. Carl furrows his brow. That is the correct look to look at Flynn yep. with. Like, like, you fucking dick. <laughs> you piece of shit. Chase, you can go aside if you want. The back is open. I think that's a good idea, because it's clear now that I've walked in on an argument. You should have seen him a few minutes ago. It was like he had a girlfriend coming over. God, shut the fuck up, Flynn. <laughs> Carl You're Sire. ruining everything. <laughs> we chose the, the one path that leads you right back to Flynn, apparently. Oh, gosh. Carl sighs loudly, and, he's, and his snips start to get a bit more violent. No, I'm just glad to have some company that isn't only you, Flynn. Flynn looks annoyed, and that annoys me. 
He really didn't have the right to be frustrated with anyone after yesterday. Really? Always seemed to be enough for you in the past. Oh my gosh. Flynn makes a kissy face. Oh I my have gosh. no idea if this is one of their inside joke, one of their inside jokes or not. Carl stops sniffing for a second, then starts up again more slowly. Well, you know, lizards can be fun, but they don't have all the parts that I like. If you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I don't ex. I mean. Uh. Like, balls. Yeah. <laughs> or boobs. If we're assuming uh, straight, still. <laughs> I don't think I'm assuming straight, still, but I'm assuming. I think that two foot dick was on purpose. I'm like, if you don't. If you're into dudes, then it's probably a, a problem that the lizard doesn't have testicles. And if and if you're if you're calling something out, and if you're into ladies, then it's like, well, they're not mammals, so they don't have boobs. I mean, I guess so. I mean, li yeah. I was gonna say I don't remember if lizards have. Hem hemipenes or not? <laughs> what did you, what have you snakes said? have hemipenes. I mean, they have like two. They have two. Oh, dicks. like a shark. And you, you, in, I keep snakes, guys. So, so if you want to like sex a snake, you like you pop their little, little their little vent, and if they if they have little dicks, they'll stick both their little dicks out because they're in a little pocket. And so if you like yeah. bend their tail the right way, they'll stick their little two little dicks out. Yeah, because reptiles are all internal and stuff. Yeah, but I'm wondering. I don't remember. If, I don't keep lizards. I'm I'm a snake person, so I don't really remember if lizards are like that too. But I'm saying I'm saying if you're into that, he has two dicks. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, that might be cool. Carl smirks sideways at Flynn. I wonder if that's the real reason. Have they slept together? I guess that's what I'm getting from this. Because I'm like, it's like. They, is that why they put up with each other and they're weirdly handsy and shit? And like they're always wrestling and, sh and, and stuff? Well, that's why Flynn's getting all fucking butthurt about like this situation. Like, there's been a couple times where he's kind of been like Meh. about stuff. Meh. He's like, he's, he's jealous. But. And also, uh, have you seen Salazzle, Keith? I think Salazzle? lizards have tits sometimes. <laughs> that's a Pokemon, it's not a lizard. <laughs> it's, I mean. Also, it's also clearly not a lizard. There's a, there's, a, there's a hint in its name that it's not a lizard. Salamander. Yeah. Salamanders aren't lizards. They're amphibians. I'm just... I, I just think it's a... I don't think... I mean... Boom. I don't know. I don't think Pokemon does... I don't Myth think, busted. <laughs> but it, like, lives out in the... I don't know. It lives out in the desert and isn't near the water at all. I don't think it makes any sense. Anyways... Scalies would argue that lizards can have tits sometimes. <laughs> I mean, they're cartoons, so yes. It's a drawing. <laughs> they're also wearing clothes and standing yeah. upright, and yeah. <laughs> Carl smirks sideways at Flynn. Flynn sneers back, and though I've decided that they're still joking, there's definitely a growing tension between them. What you say in there, Carl? Carl stops snipping and, and plants the point of the clippers into the ground, leaning on it as he as he turns to face Flynn. Those are big clippers. Yeah, they're like the, they're like the uh, clock tower scissors. They're like, sh yeah, they're like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you're, it is yeah. balls. What I'm saying is that you've got no ball. I called it. Before Carl can finish his sentence, Flynn turns to the right, away from him. I think they're just inside of him. I mean, yes, they have testicles, but not they don't, they're not hanging out. This also brings his fat tail around to slam into Carl's crotch with a whap that makes me cringe. I, and, you know, uh, goats have got, goats got weird dicks, too. I don't know, I'm just saying. Goats got guys, weird dicks, too. <laughs> just, you guys can complain about each other's junk in both ways, so, just saying. We, I mean, we, the game's already called out that Carl has huge balls. Well, I mean, when he mooned us. most goats have exactly pretty fucking big balls. Yes. Dude. You, ever, you see goats everywhere; they just have huge balls just hanging out. Carl jumps, then squeaks before toppling to the ground. Oh man, my nuts! An easy target. Yeah, definitely wish I had those all dangly and vulnerable and shit. Anyway, I'll leave you two sluts alone. Yeah, Flynn's right; his are like tucked in a safe spot, like a pocket. <laughs> Flynn sticks the toothpick back in his muzzle, and I had have to consciously try not to cover my crotch while he walks by me. He hasn't looked at me this whole time. 
Once Flynn's gone, I sidle up to Carl, who's still curled up on the ground, holding himself while he mutters under his breath. Uh, you alright? Fuck! No! Um... There's not really anything I can do, so I, I rub his shoulder with a toe, comfortingly. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even come down. You could have done more than that, Chase. And he freezes up as I do, this looking at my foot. Such a bro thing to do. You're like, ah, man, I'll not touch you very much, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cover <laughs> he, you with my foot. He was holding his chest like two days ago. <laughs> I know. It's, that's why it's funny. It seems very. It seems like very straight boy, like thing to do. Like, ah, dude, I don't want to touch you, but like, sorry, bro. <laughs> uh. Ugh, I'm all right though. He gets himself into a sitting position before he gets up awkwardly, standing bow legged. I forgot how much Flynn likes to hit people in the nuts. Right, and what? Wait, add another bad quality to him. Yeah, it's all. It's a. It's 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 drop this guy bingo. Yeah. <laughs> like why? Are you, why are you doing this? You're about to get a blackout. I'll get him back. It still hurts him if you hit hard enough. <laughs> he's test. He's tested this. As he stands there, doubled over with his paws on his knees, I look around. Carl's house has actual grass in the back, which is rare in Echo. Most people either zare escape or just let the sagebrush take over. I just, I just had to guess how to pronounce that one. I wonder if zare zare escape might be fake grass. Maybe. Is it like, yeah, like the? Or maybe zare escapes rocks. Oh yeah, maybe it might it might be rocks like rockscaping. I'm just gonna say that like it's a real, real term. Another rarity are two tall trees on either side of the yard. That's why I notice how empty one of them looks. Hey, where'd the treehouse go? Carl follows my gaze. Uh, sorry. You Xeriscaping is a process of landscaping or gardening that reduces or eliminates the need for irrigation. It looks like there's a lot of cactuses. If you look oh. at pictures, so it's like basically what their front yard looked like a picture ago. Yeah. We put a bunch of drought drought resistant plants. That's actually how most of my yards have looked growing up. So, so you and how my mom's my yard still looks these days. Basically I, just rocks. But she rocks has never used like, that word. Not uh, rocks and succulents and uh, like I said drought resistant brush and yeah, you just make it, it planted in a way. It's always that tan gravel like the bottom half of the screen right now. Like that color. Yeah honestly this, this isn't that far off from probably like if you can imagine this not blurry it's probably accurate. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my dad took it down a few years ago. It was falling apart. His dad also built the treehouse. I can remember hanging out up there playing our portable game consoles and with a fan at full blast. Even then it was still almost too hot to hang out up there. I walk up to the base of the tree and put my hand against the trunk, grinning. Man, remember all that shit we did up there? Experimenting with our bodies? Uh, Carl <laughs> shuffles up next to me, still bow-legged, and grins too. Yeah, good times. I think about climbing it, but I notice that the branch we used as a foothold has been cut off. Your dad ruined this thing. Carl scrapes at the spot where the branch used to be with, uh, with a hoof. Oh, the broken branch is the... that's what this the, the title image is for. Oh, yeah. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess it made the mowing harder, and we didn't use it anymore, so we just cut it off. I can see Carl's looking for a way up, too. And soon enough, my eyes settle on a branch just above his head. I don't know if... Carl's already jumped to grab the branch with both paws. It doesn't look very sturdy. Dude, that's gonna break. So? I'm fucking fat. I'll bounce. I don't think it works that way. Oh, look at that little, yeah. little happy trail. <laughs> Get a, a glimpse at him being kind of jacked. He's just Would like thick boy jacked. Yeah. Goals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, also, me too. You, I want to be a thick boy jacked you could also one day. Just, you could <laughs> look, at, look at Chase's expression and where he's looking. He's like, I want to touch that. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what he wants. Where does that hair wants. go? <laughs> Uh, I need to check. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's learn something. I'm about to tell him again that the branch is definitely going to break when I notice his shirt riding all the way, riding up, up all the way over his round belly. It's not, it's not like it's 
it's not like it's he's a bag of lard though <laughs> it's a controlled type of gut held tight with the muscles underneath it pulling it as he flexes he notices me staring right away and kicks out at me playfully pervert first my moobs and now this I jump back and he tries to follow me with a bigger swing of his legs and that's when the branch snaps loudly Carl goes down once again landing squarely on his back Oof. I cover my face instinctively, but I, I still hear the hollow thud, followed by the whoosh of breath going out of his lungs. Slowly, I lower my paws and find the chubby ram rolling back and forth on the, on the ground, eyes wide as his mouth hangs open. A distant memory comes to mind of a time when we were both ten, and Carl was showing me a trick with his new bike ramp. <laughs> I, bet, I bet it went well. <laughs> I'm sure. The handlebars ended up in his gut when he landed, and he spent the following minute rolling around on the ground just like this. Good times. Shit. I suck in air through my teeth and kneel next to him again, patting, patting him uselessly. He's not with his foot this time. <laughs> After a few seconds of hesitation, I reach over and grab the front of his waistband of his shorts and pull up on it. Even though he's completely deflated, he looks at me with a bizarre expression and swats at my paw, giving a few breathless snorts as he tries to laugh. Hey, it's supposed to help you breathe. I've seen it, the coaches do it at school. <laughs> <laughs> I realize that Carl's way too heavy to arch up like that, so I, I give, uh, so I give up and and end up just petting his stomach, wishing I could help somehow. Just. Just stretch it out. <laughs> Rub some dirt in it. Take a walk. His breath is already coming back, but he follows my instruction anyway while we sit there for a while, the silence punctuated by his heavy breathing. I start laughing. Jesus Christ, Carl, can you go one day without hurting yourself? He chuckles too, his belly shaking under my paw. Now you know why I don't go outside. Ugh. He slumps back for a while, taking in deep breaths before lifting his head again. He looks down his chest at my paw and grins. Seems like you can't keep your paws off me, though. I move my paw, letting him pull down his shirt as he grunts and sits up. How about I just let you suffocate next time? How about I just put a pillow over your face next time? <laughs> I I I I, I, I mentally inserted another word in this sentence. I, I saw, so for a second there, I thought he said that. I'm like, God damn, Chase, that's an escalation. I thought he was, I thought he was I thought he said, "How about I just let you suffocate me next time?" <laughs> <laughs> I almost did. <laughs> I almost did laughing while I almost did laughing while I couldn't breathe. I thought you were trying to grab my dick. I put my paws on my hips. Is it because I'm gay? That might just be it. Carl grabs the branch that had broken off the tree and qu quirks up the corner of his mouth. Ugh. Dad's not going to be happy about that. Who cares? It's just a branch. You know my dad. He gets up and tosses the branch over the fence into the desert, then turns back to me. I just imagine a dad that comes home from like vacation is like, This tree is missing a branch. Where did it go? Like, does, <laughs> does he notice? My empire. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Something is missing here. This tree had 11 branches last time it just, I was It just at him for like a week and he can't tell what's wrong. But he, so he just keeps going back out to the yard. He's like, something's wrong. <laughs> he, he, like, he rubs his chin and goes outside. His wife's like, honey, come back inside. He's like, yeah. no, something is wrong. He, She's like, no, come back inside. You're being stupid. He also has an obligatory goat beard. <laughs> which he strokes every morning. Yes. So now that it feels like Lucha fucking Lobo just gave me the... <laughs> Ki Wait, hold on. Gibradora Kongiro. I guess I'm done for the day. Gosh, I'm so lame. I can't pronounce anything. <laughs> Want to work on your project now? I'd honestly rather just hang out here with Carl, but the sun's getting... The sun's enough to put a damper on that. Look at his weirdly melted house. <laughs> we, we paid extra for that. It's too hot in this desert. This is just what it looks like inside. Carl's house is like a labyrinth. I think he once told me that it has over 30 rooms, which is a is fucking insane. 
The living room is about five times larger than the one in my parents' house. It's hard to miss what looks like a 100-inch flat screen against the wall. According to Carl, the first mansion w was... Uh, the first mansion was even bigger, though. After getting a drink, he leads me straight downstairs into the basement. Down the hallway, we pass a small home theater, what looks like an entertainment room with a bar, and then a small gym. Damn. A quick glance I get shows at least 10 fitness contraptions. After that, things get a little more dingy, and I can see how portions of the foundation could be decades old. Go back. <laughs> Go back. Is this room not fancy enough for you? They're using like a higher resolution version of the filter here. Yeah, it's funny. It, it, like they, it like they decided it would. Out. They decided it would be too blurry to do it the way that they did the other rooms. It'd be really hard to uh, understand this room without yeah. having it like that. Because you can alter. You can you can just set the mask radius to whatever you want. Finally, at the end of the hall, Carl opens a door, and I can see that from the ceiling that it's right under the stairs we came down on. I wonder if this if they took a single photo for this game of their all from like image searches. <laughs> And then they just do a filter on him. Carl waves his paw around and finally grasps something before pulling down. An old light bulb bulb comes on and I see there's a uh, a little door with a small latch on it. And he's like, now get inside. <laughs> get what? inside. Get inside. Get in the hole. Yeah, he has, he has a gun. He's like, <laughs> open the door, get inside. It's Carl time. <laughs> he... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> he opens it, and I'm greeted with a musty smell as Carl slides through the opening. I follow tentatively, making sure I'm not walking into any cobwebs. Are there a lot of spiders down here? Probably. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. We don't, we sprayed a few weeks ago. It's extremely dark, and I hear Carl grunting next to me. <sighs> There's a floodlight here somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> Why are we down here? Because uh, we're looking, we're going into the crawl space and stuff to find the historical stuff. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot about that. For his thing, he do. Like everything in this house, it's big for a crawl space. One might call it a, a walk space. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Pillars sprout from the ground in two rows that stretch back almost into, almost into darkness. The ground is covered in a tarp, and I see dozens of plastic bins lining the walls. This is a lot of shit. Yep. It's a few generations worth of shit. Hundreds of generations, if you mean the rats. I walk over... Are there, are there rats? I walk over the tarp what, what, to in, look... In the desert? Yeah. In the, no, in this universe... <laughs> Oh, oh. I walk well, there's over... beef, though. I'm... I, don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I have questions. Well, we've never met a cow yet. We did see a rat with a popped collar on Route 65. Oh, we met a goat, though. A ram, though. I feel like... The... I don't know. I feel like they're pretty... Th that's not beef. I know, but you people do eat goat. Qualify things differently when they're goats. You don't like, oh, look, check out this this north beef. It's a... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mountain beef. <laughs> Me and a... That's what you call goat. <laughs> it's really stupid. What, mountain beef? Mountain beef. <laughs> beef at higher altitudes. <laughs> I, I went with some friends to, or I, well, I went with your, your brother and some of his husband's friends to a restaurant that we didn't realize was entirely a goat restaurant. Oh. Because Like they a, only served goat? There was a, well, I mean, they served other stuff, but mostly just goat. And I know this word now. It wasn't, I don't a, know how it, to it wasn't say just the greatest it, restaurant of all time. But it's like. And it's someone out there in the comments is gonna be like, "This girl doesn't know how to say anything." But it's it's like it's like the one that's like Barrera. It's like B I R R. Oh, I thought you were talking about Rocky Mountain oysters. Oh no, not that. No, no. <laughs> we went to a restaurant that specialized in a dish that is goat, yeah. and we didn't know until we got there and we we're looking at the menu and we had asked the the waiter what it was, and then I realized the logo was a goat. And I was like, oh, we probably should have figured this out, guys. <laughs> and half the group was like, oh, I've never had goat before. We went, into, we went to a fox place and they didn't serve fox there. Yeah. <laughs> people, people don't generally They just had a foxes. lot of drawings of foxes. What animal is a, is a Rocky Mountain oyster? Um, I think that's I think that is just beef Is it sheep beef or is it cows? I think it's beef. Hmm. 
I remember seeing I that on, um, on <laughs> I don't want Fear that Factor one. a lot. <laughs> it's just a thing people do on purpose. It's a little, little tame for Fear Factor. Yeah, that's like why I can't win Fear Factor. Because you're vegetarian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could try winning Fear Factor, but I'm like, without, without even having the experience of eating actual beef, eating beef testicles would be like like 10 steps ahead of like where I would, would be at in terms of experience. Maybe you'd be more equipped. Just, just, just commit. Because I have, like, cause I have no shit. expectations. Yeah. You'd just be excited about the bugs. I don't like, want to eat the bugs. Make me eat the bugs. Let's go. I, like, no, I keep these at home. I love them. <laughs> They're my pets. I walk over the tarp to look into one of the bins, but all I can see is clumps of cloth and towels through the cloudy plastic. Carl walks past me, straight towards the back of the crawl space, his big hooves clopping along loudly. I actually helped him sort through all this stuff last year, so I think I know where it is. I follow him, but it's hard to see in the darkness. Should I get a flashlight? No, let's just let the horror happen, bud. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. <laughs> no, it's, it's only in two tubs, I think. We'll just pull him up to the front. I stand off to the side as I watch him push bins around, looking at the labels on top. I look over at one of them and see Home Movies written on it, and it's full of cassettes. Ugh, don't remind me. The baby pictures in there of you, Carl. Tiny Carl. A Carlette. I look up and see Carl's noticed me staring at the bin. What? Carl grunts as he lifts up a bin and drops it pretty carelessly to the floor. I'm pretty sure I hear something break. Mom had me help her convert all that to digital. Took me a all fucking year. Wow. Yeah, it's in the cloud now. You're actually in a lot of those videos. Huh, really? Yeah, birthday parties and shit. Of course I would be. Carl's dad practically had a video camera glued to his eye back in the day. I used to hang out with Carl almost as much as I did Leo once we got once we started hanging out. Hmm. Going out. So he's comparing how much he hung out with Carl to how much he dated Leo. Yeah. I even went on their family vacation a few times. Because you're part of the family. You're going on our family vacation next month. <laughs> yeah, I've been on family vacations with you guys before. Yeah. I'm, I'm honorary. <laughs> but, then, but then me going out with Leo changed things. Looking back, I think Carl was kind of unhappy with that. We can watch a few once we're done here, if you want. Uh, Sure. That sounds like an old person thing to do, but I am curious. Found it. Wouldn't want to be an old person at like age uh, 20, 21, one, I think. Two, two, two. Carl slides out two plastic bins and I see history written on top. Help me carry one. Carl lifts up the top one and starts waddling back to the front. I bend over and lift the second, and I'm surprised at how fucking heavy it is. I'm worried I'm not even going to get it off the ground for a few seconds, but I manage after a while. If Carl's bin is as heavy as mine, then he's a fucking beast at being able to lift and carry it like that. I stagger after him, almost certain that I'm going to go head first into the wall. And he doesn't got no horns. Once we make it back near the stairs, I bend over to sit, d set down my bin, and that's when I see a massive spider sitting on the lid. It takes about a half second for me to recognize the black shape and spindly legs. Oh, fuck. I scream and drop the bin before I know... And before I know it, I'm, half, I'm halfway back from where we came, panting and shivering. Holy shit, what happened? I tremble and, and try to steady my voice. Fucking spider. <laughs> what? You're really still scared of those? Man, for a second I thought my sister came home and then and they got murdered. <laughs> what? Very long. Yeah, he's reaching for that one. It, it, not not quite the greatest hit that was two foot dick. Uh, yeah, work on those jokes, Carl. I was gonna say like that's a strong reaction to a spider, and I hate spiders. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like yelling about it and running away like it's a big deal is a bit extreme. I just pick no, I don't, I don't like that. I like there was that. That one day you knocked on my door, and I thought you were... You I knocked... No, I knocked on my wall that is also your wall. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because uh, uh, what it, for because for the audience, what happened is a spy. I I was just laying in bed, just kind of staring into space, and I saw. A sp- I just watched as a fucking spider just walked just uh, uh, just on my wall through the doorway and onto my wall. Like it just like just came. I just uh, saw it enter my room. I'm like cool, great. Got to deal with this now because I do not want the idea. I don't like the idea of spiders in my room when I'm sleeping and stuff. So I I just get a cup and I just catch it on the wall and then I'm like. Oh fuck! I forgot a step. <laughs> I didn't get a paper first to get, to catch it with, so I'm just like sitting here with a fucking uh, a glass with a spider in it, just on the wall, and I like slide it around a little bit, and then it's not like he won't like go in the cup. He's just like staying on the wall. I'm like motherfucker. So I just knock on my on the wall that I'm at, which is your wall, and I'm just like Stephanie, <laughs> can you get a paper? Well, I thought, and then you like kept it. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I kept it for a few days, then I let it back outside. Yeah, but I, I thought you were your brother. And I was like, oh, it's probably just something goofy. You can wait. And then it happened again. And I'm like, oh gosh. And I get up, I get up. And I, I'm like, and I open the door. I'm like, oh, it's it's Keith. Yeah. And you're like, hell. Get a paper. And I'm, I was just like, what? Can you give me context? He was like, get a paper. And I'm like, what does that mean? Help. And, I'll, and then I look around the corner. And I'm like, oh, got it. And I go and I grab I'm a paper. just like, if I move, it'll get away. And I just, I, I always think about this time when I was like, I don't know, like 24 or some shit. And just like one of the biggest spiders I've ever seen was just on my nightstand. And I made one move to be like, to try to get something. And it just disappeared. And I'm like, cool, that's just in my room now. <laughs> love, love that for me. It's just in here somewhere. <laughs> I hate that. I hate when a spider's big enough that when it skitters, you can see it, its legs have that optical illusion of like when you wave like a stick and it gets bendy. Wait, it, oh, oh yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. Like, if you, like, hold, like, a ruler or something in the middle and you, like, you, like, bounce it up and uh, up and down, like, there's, like, a, a, a bendy weird, effect. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. Yes, this is happening right now. There yeah. It is. And, like... He's demonstrating. When, when the, I'm doing it with a Sharpie. When, when fucking... Uh, when a spider's legs do that effect, that fucks me up. I really hate that exact visual, which, uh, Bloodborne... Do you like, like, daddy long legs? Uh, No. I do not like. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't like. I mean, I don't like any. I don't like any. Like, I don't like bees and hornets. And obvious for obvious reasons. And then I don't like any, like long legged insect or arachnid thing. So I, I like. I'm. I'm not happy with like mosquito eaters or daddy long legs and so on. I'm not gonna like completely freak out or whatever. But I'm like, I not. I do not want them in the room I sleep in. <laughs> like I, very specifically, like I have a very different reaction to them. Being in my room versus seeing them in the wild and be like, "Look, there's a spider." Like, I'll take pictures of spiders if they're on a bush <laughs> out in their home. Not yes, in my exactly. Home. Like my deviant, I had a picture of a spider because I was just like, "Look at it! Look, love, look at it! It's out here." I love spiders. No. I have one that lives in the corner of my room. His name is Jeffrey, and I put, Jeffrey. I put little. I actually kill. I don't know where that's I, I from buy, anymore. I buy crickets for my other bugs and so i will kill one decapitate it and i'll just kind of put it with tongs in jeffrey's web and jeffrey will come down and eat it mm-hmm. so I, fe- I feed the spider that lives in the corner of my room <laughs> i don't like that oh, i shouldn't no. tell you that no. I, also, I, have, I have a wolf spider in my room too but it's it's in a cage it's fucking scary though dude you mm-hmm. want to see a fucking fucked up spider and then i have, no. a, I have a tarantula don't want wolf spiders I'm They're a, too big i'm a sweet little baby angel tarantula that i've had for like 12 years she's a sweetheart yeah She's my baby. She's like, besides besides Kiki, I don't have to say that because she's in the room. My dog's in the room. I have to say she's my favorite pet. Yeah. Just because she's here, I have to say yeah, that. She's listening. She's listening right now. I was going to say that tarantula's my second favorite pet, and there was a fire. I'd come back in for it. Cause... I'd come back in for it. Oh, God. I'll Tarantulas check, are check like... Kiki out the window, and then I'll come back for the tarantula. Tranches are like almost okay because they're just so fucking big that it's like it crosses a threshold. But I still would rather see one in the wild and nowhere near where I live. <laughs> I, have, I have a baby like, salmon pink bird eater right now, and it's about the size of my pinky nail because I like to yeah. buy uh, baby tarantulas, which are called slings. But when it gets big enough, it's gonna be so fucking big. I knew someone who had a adult one, and you could actually, if you were holding the container it was in, you could feel it vibrating as it ran across the. <laughs> yeah, you could like feel its weight. As yeah. it walks, like because it's so. Because we we went on trips down to around where this is actually, we're like we're near where Echo takes places, where a lot of my geology trips happened, and like 
on one of our days when we were walking back to the vans, which was like a two mile walk because the road was so far away from our actual site we were we were mapping out, we just found a tarantula and it's like it was like sunset. So it was like it was just getting it was just getting dark and you could just see it just it's just walking across like this clearing, but it's going so slow. Yeah, they're not and, usually fast. Yeah, but I mean like it's it's going like cartoonishly slow. And what's so weird about seeing them going that slow is that every single one of their legs is simultaneously in motion of like their walk cycle. So it looks like a toy that's moving really slow cuz like every one of their legs is in like a stage of like its individual movement. Like they don't like take turns using each leg they're all in one big cycle so it looks like a weird machine being cranked very slowly i always tell people because because they're fundamentally blind and so it's like having eight walking canes and so they're constantly feeling the ground for vibrations they're walking really slow i mean there are definitely tarantulas that will fucking jump at you like there are ones but they're not usually the ones that walk on the ground they're not usually the terrestrial kind but but if you're ever going anywhere they're aerial spiders if you see a (laughs) uh, a tarantula on the ground it's probably a boy and you don't want to keep those as pets because they don't live nearly as long. They're not worth as much money. <laughs> so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like figure out where the females are underground. And you take a stick and you have to dig them out of their burrow. But any of the ones that are out in the open are looking for a girlfriend. And that's why they're walking around. They're trying to get laid. And so those are not the ones that you want. But there are some places where they have such a tarantula mating season that they'll clog up the roads. And people will drive over the tarantulas and make the road literally slippery with how many dead tarantulas are on the road. And it becomes an actual traffic problem. Well... <laughs> But I've always wanted to go out and go like tarantula hunting and go take like, go get some tarantulas. But you have to. I would want the females, so I don't have to dig them out of the ground. Sometimes, tarantulas live, sometimes spiders just spider too much. Females live twenty years, males live like seven. They're not worth nearly as much, and also they're not as pretty. So now I'm just thinking about that part of the world where like all the trees just get they just turn into like horrible like web like candy. They look they, they look like a. Uh, not candy cane. What's it called? <laughs> wow, candy cane. That sounds delightful. Candy floss. What's it? What do we uh, call it? What do we call <laughs> cotton it? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. There we go. The trees just look like cotton candy, but it's all web. And it's just like horrible. Take me I there. I hate that. It's really funny that I thought of candy floss before I could think of what we yeah, call they, it. That is like the that's the lesser used. Yeah, because it's say. like the. I think it's what the, I think it's that might be the English one. Yeah, that was the, I think it was the original name. That, 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 that fuck it on. Um, I'm just I'm stream of consciousness just connecting things now, which is a problem. Cause now I'm thinking of the poor raccoon that they give it, they give him cotton candy and he goes to wash it and it just disappears in his hands and he you just exper- one of, one of the he saddest just very of all clearly time. experiences loss. <laughs> 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 Sorry for the tarantula uh, anecdote, guys. Anyways, back to the you candy. told me there weren't any. I didn't say that. I said we sprayed. Just get rid of it. At this point, I've shuffled a little closer back to the light, and I can see Carl grinning as he bends over to look at the lid of the bin. Whoa, it's got babies on its back. My body gives a violent, involuntary spasm, and I shake my paws like a fucking girl. Stop it! I take offense to that. <laughs> I would not shake my paws like, like that. You already take offense to them not liking a spider. Yeah, I loved a baby spider. He glances up at me with a stupid smile still on his face. It's probably a toy. It's probably not even real. Whoa, that was gay. But seriously. I take offense to that. <laughs> it's got a bunch of tiny babies on its back. I think it's a wolf spider. No! I swear I'm going to pass the hell out if he doesn't stop talking. I cover my face. Please! This is like Ashley with, with, uh, with snakes. <laughs> you can't even talk about snakes. Also something I have. Alright, alright. I didn't know you were that scared of them. You should probably get that checked out. Like a tumor. A fear tumor. Fix that problem. I'm sure the spider problem will never come up again. Uh, considering that I had almost crashed my car into the garage of my parents' house when a spider crawled out of the AC, he's he's probably right. I mean, it's pretty unexpected. I, that would not be a good experience. I would not like that reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Just kill it. Why would I do that? I watch as he tilts the bin sideways. It's not going to hurt anyone. I want to tell him that those babies are only going to grow into a hundred more giant wolf spiders. But I realize I'll just come off as a bloodthirsty asshole, so I bite my lip as I watch the black spot skitter off into the darkness. I walk back towards Carl, hugging my shoulders as I try to control the chills running through me. 
Now I'm going to be paranoid the whole time that it's going to come back out and get me. Yes. I can relate to this exact thought. <laughs> Object permanence with spiders. If you, if you don't know where the spider is, it's still there. Uh, Carl rubs my back when I stand next to him. You know, they actually clean up a lot of other bugs that get into the house. That's why I keep Jeffrey. For the, for the mosquitoes I get in the house sometimes. Yeah. And that's why, that's why I have mosquitoes. I used to have an ant problem like in my old you, apartment. That's why like I, I let them in Between episodes yesterday, I was like, is that a mosquito? And I was I was just asking for you to tell me <laughs> if it was a mosquito because I was going to deal with it. But you just reached up and just squished it with your hand. And then just blood went everywhere on my do on the door frame. And, and I said, that's Keith's blood. It became a multi-stage problem <laughs> at that point. It had a lot of blood in it for how no, small it was. No, no, it was really, that was a big gross. <laughs> like that became a thing to clean up. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'd rather be covered in ants than spiders. I think most people feel that way. It's clear he's trying not to laugh at me as he starts popping the lid off the bin. On the top are a few framed pictures, and under those are a few more cardboard boxes. I, re I release the latch on the other bin, keeping my eye out for any black spots that might jump out at me. <sighs> this one is filled with bundles uh, wrapped in cloth or paper. Carl drags his bin to the steps so that he can sit on them, and I follow. So how do you think you'll use this stuff? Um, I unwrap a smaller bundle and look at the gold pocket watch underneath. Wow, uh, well, not totally sure. Depends on what we find. Might film a few things. There's a paper tag attached to the chain with Robert Hendricks written on it. Uh, music. Music's happening. Who's this? Carl gives it a glance. No idea. Probably a great uncle or something. I wrap the pocket... I wrap the pocket watch and reach back into the bin to pull out the next item. There's something really cool about old stuff. My mind wanders to who might have made it, who bought it, and how much shit it must have seen. History was my first choice to major in, but Dad put a stop to that pretty quick. Oh, what the hell? We almost had, almost had two consecutive visual novels with the history major. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to do videography too, and he also turned us off of that. Do you think the writer might like history? Do you think that the writer might think that parents are me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let, let's ask the, the uh, hit, hit video game entity, the parents, about. about oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. In the, in the game about the parents. And also, let's ask the, the video game writers, who are obviously gay people, how their parents felt about mm. them being gay. I wonder if we're gonna go through this entire game and universe without ever encountering a parent. Because <laughs> at this rate... Nope, nope, sorry. Uh, Jasmine's dad. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. We saw... We have already seen a parent. We did see him, but he put his fingers in the nacho cheese on accident. Yeah, my first glance was like, is this the Ed and, Ed, Ed, Ed and Eddie verse where we eventually acknowledge that parents don't exist? But then I remembered that that's, it, it opens that with, me out, with running from parents. I pull out various other things. Dolls, a pipe, coins, another pocket watch. I feel like this is worth a lot of money. Why don't, why don't they sell it? Because they have enough money. Yeah, I Probably, think but it's family stuff, and I think they want to do the museum. He gives an awkward cough. Besides, we already got plenty of money. He's got the binder open, looking at black and white photos behind the plastic. Hey, this is him, right? He points at a picture of a very dignified-looking ram, thumbs in his vest, wearing one of those big top hats. A fox stands next to him in a similar pose. I can see a piece of, of yellowed paper set behind the photo and they tug it out. James Hendricks. Yep. Definitely him. And John Begay. John Begay. John Begay. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> oh no, wait. Je That's Jenna's last name. Huh. Hmm. Carl's phone starts buzzing and he grunts as he leans back to pull it out of his pocket. Hey mom. Help and chase with this project. No, I... Of course not. I look over at him and he gets up and clops back to the steps. Looking back down at the picture, I wonder if it's just coincidence, but I don't think so. Jenny, Jenna's family has been an echo since the beginning, too. 
So this guy definitely has to be a relative of some kind. Does that mean Jenna, Jenna, Jenna be gay too? Jenna be gay? <gasps> Yay! <gasps> My dreams. <laughs> Was it was the fucking Mario Galaxy? You are Mr. Gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like, what the? F- okay, so is that one? And then like the sequel was. People also looked at the sequel and found like another message, and it's like it's something like. It wasn't like yeah, I am. Are you or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I am. Are you? <laughs> so fucking weird. <laughs> I take a picture of the photograph with my phone. I'll show it to Jenna later and ask if she knows anything about it. To do that without a car? Carl raises his voice, so I look back up the steps, wondering if I should close the door. Hearing him angry like that didn't feel right. His parents were were always hard on him, but I guess they had their reasons. I spend the next 20 minutes shuffling through the bins, trying to be careful not to break anything. I decide I have enough and put the lids back on the bins, lining the stuff I picked out along one of the steps since I don't have anywhere else to put them. By the time I head back up into the actual basement, Carl's gone. Hmm. That's a lot of media you got there, Ooh, buddy. Ooh, cool. That's a, oh, Carl's room's cool. Forbidden planet? Like, oh, wow. wow. Oh, you recognize one. I was like, I'm, I'm try, I was trying to see if I could recognize what any of these posters are. Well, and it looks like King Kong. Because this is just a real room. In that last picture. Because I think it's a hand holding mm. a lady. I, think? I never get that. He does the thing where he. Uh, Maybe I'm wrong. I can't really. Now I'm not. Yeah, I know. There's a woman in a dress, in a yellow dress. I never get that. But he, he does that thing where you. They, and they, then Avengers. You pin a, a box of a toy on the wall with the toy inside. I don't I don't like that. that f- everything about that, generally. I mean, I kind of get it because it's like, where do you put those things? It's a globe. Well, I mean, like, I just, just open it. Just open it. But st- leaving it in the box is weird. I don't like it. Uh, you can't tell. Uh, there's, I think that's Link on the top right. It looks like a. Why a, is this picture so blurry? Yeah, it's like Space Ghost. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was looking at the little little white guy with the cape. And I'm like, is that Space Ghost? Space Ghost. The guy Ghost above him looks Ghost. like Link. It does. It does. Were the amiibos around back then? No. No amiibo. No. They no. Were no. Not. No. Amiibo was Wii U. Way not. Amiibo was. Wait. 2008? No. No, this isn't 2008. This is 2014. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I, keep I, think the, I think 2014 is the year the Wii U came out. That's not the Link one, though. And the and 2014, and the, and the Amiibo were Wii U, not Wii. I don't know. Just trying to identify this weird-ass room. That's like a, there's a whole-ass diorama in the middle. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck that's supposed to be. It looks like an Someone entertainment find center. This so it's original weird. picture and send it to us, please, so we can look at all the media. Because <laughs> I want to look at all the movies. He you has. just find it on Google. What are you looking at now? I just look what that diorama is supposed to be. I can't. F- yeah, I don't know. It's like a dollhouse. Oh, yeah. oh no, I see. I see a person standing or at the bottom. Or a big bottom. Lego thing. The diorama. Oh so yeah, that figure's too people. tall for a Lego thing. Any, anyways, like. Maybe it's his sister's dollhouse or something. So, someone's probably decoded half the stuff here. And a papa son chair. Those are my or a dish chair, if you want to call it that. A I love dish those. Chair. I like to I like to I like to have them straight up like a bowl and just sit in them and pretend like I'm a bird and it's my nest. When I was, when I was a kid, I used to do that <laughs> with my mom papa son chair. You could change what direction they were facing. Well, because because the dish the dish comes out. I mean, that the might I think that's the kind of I think it's the exact kind where there's a base. That holds the dish, and the dish is you just, just made of. You just set it in. Yeah, it's just made of like wood spiral, a wood spiral. Hmm. So you like can move basket. the dish around. Like, a, yeah, it is like a basket. So you can have it tilted at different angles. But I would just have it completely tilted, like flat, like a like a like a cereal bowl. And <laughs> I, I'd climb in there. And I go. Crah, crah. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom would bring me a bowl of, of cereal, and I'd sit in there and eat it. Like, like I was allowed to do a lot of fun things. All right. Well, I guess we have a location change, so it's probably <laughs> yeah, time to I'll leave on that to leave that this note. episode, which is already long. Click on these fucking lips. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>